All right, we're back, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Let's go right into the details of the portfolio. It finally went green today. Um, we are nine dollars and twenty-one cents in the green. So uh, super happy. I can't, um, you know, be um, sad or mad about this situation. I'm finally uh, relieved that we're back into the green after this portfolio going down to negative three hundred and three dollars. Um, a big hit was. Uh, Veralto, it's keeping afloat. Uh, we sold two stocks, two shares of Veralto to fund some average downs into um, lithium, lithium Argentine, which didn't go through. I still have 120 shares. I believe the uh, the order was for I think 25 more shares. Uh, I can't remember, but the order didn't go through. So I still have that money on the side, and then the one that did get. Uh, I'm sorry, did get executed was Arcadium Lithium. Uh, we got that one down from, I believe it was 344 down to 303. Um, it's still in the red, negative $19. It's very close to the 52 week low, and that was one of the main factors of why I wanted to average down into it. Um, I set a buy limit, forgot about it, and then a couple of days later I checked and it went through. Now we have 125 shares, and then uh, Denison Mines as well. It went from 69 to 75, I believe, and that's near the 52-week low. The difference between $1.57 and $1.33, we're down $22.75 into that position, even though we averaged down. So um, it's still, you know, I, I want to say it's the fact that they're going back into the into the green is very, very um, assuring, or at least kind of gives me a level of support that you know these silver mining companies are going to run there was a big story about keith newmeyer holding out on some some silver uh reserve i didn't get into it i hope someone can comment on that um i didn't get to see it and i forgot where i saw it and i couldn't go back and check it i haven't googled it at all i probably sure i'm sure i can just google it and figure it out but if anyone knows off the top of their head please put in the comments uh hecla mining did really good uh, today and yesterday it's up I want to say let me see here 16 almost 17 percent so very happy with that um, got those back up in there silver court metals is back up and uh, courier mining is finally positive as well we still got several other uh, positions in the silver mining stocks that are down the biggest one being Endeavor Silver. So almost a 20% draw. Now, if you look at this, this is what kind of like if you ask, well, why did you average down in in some certain positions and not all of them? Well, I always look at the 52-week low to see if it can run down even further from the price it's at right now. And that is significantly a lot more. So it can continue to fall and fall and fall. Um, you know, this can get to 60 percent negative 60 percent real fast so i don't dollar cost average in there because i want to maximize the punch as far as averaging this uh piece down this is the price that i, pay, I pay, paid per share and if you really want to like make a significant impact this the price that it trades has to be significantly lower um just a quick story when i got into my new position i had about 100 shares at nine dollars and some change now to average down, uh, it went negative eight percent, negative ten percent, negative twelve percent, and I said, "Okay, I'm going to buy more." And so this took several months as it continued to fall from nine dollars to eight dollars to eight dollars to seven dollars, seven dollars to six dollars. It went all the way down to three dollars and some change, and I continued to buy and buy and buy and buy and buy. And that's kind of like when you run out of money. Uh, I got to the point where I accumulated 500 extra shares on top of the first 100. And you know what the impact was? Even though I was buying some at $3.80, um, it lowered my overall uh, cost per share down to $6 and some change. Now, a $3 dip after buying 100 shares and then buying the next 500 shares uh, below the original purchase of nine dollars per share i mean it's significant and so when you average down you really want to make sure that this is you know negative 20 or it's very close to the 52 week low that's that should be giving you at least a good signal if it gets to the 52 week low near it you can start to buy heavy and so that's what i did with um 
this lithium it didn't get down to it it got so it's at 278 right now i was putting in at 240 and um the low was 226 i could have got it at 250 i should have because it's already up but uh lesson learned it's okay um it's still fairly you know close to what it's trading at still got a lot left but uh you know we'll keep moving forward this one as well we bought we bought heavy i think i bought 50 shares um to lower this down so and that lowered it i want to say about 41 cents so price per share and and again once you buy over 100 it's very hard to average down so you have to put in like three times the amount of original investment that you put so um yeah i just wanted to share that that's if anyone had a question about how you know when to average down um we still have several positions again that are that are in the red uh, I'm hopeful for these. These lithium mines, I think I'm going to continue to buy pretty heavy. They've been beaten down. I was looking at a lot of the top uh, lithium companies and uranium companies as well. We have a uranium um, company right here, Denison Mines, that I originally thought was silver. That's how that's how sharp I am, guys. I was <laughs> I put this in the Silver Mining Corp uh, project, but it's not. It's a uranium company. They've been getting hammered. You can see that it's 133, the 52-week low, and 157 after running in 2021. So they are coming down off that huge, huge um, run that they had. They had in 2020 to 2021. And so I'm going to start to look. Uh, at these companies to start loading up on uh, the shares so as the price falls that's when you're trying to buy in heavy now just pay attention um, I try to look at the lowest it's ever been since its inception and that's where I want to buy heavy at uh, in case we have another bull run which we probably will and so I'm going to start to um, you know build these positions pretty high um in the coming in the coming months these are you know a long time thing this is going to take several months you guys again when something drops really fast measure your patience because it's going to continue to drop and it takes months if not years to finally get down to the bottom so always remember that when you're averaging down and uh when you want when you're thinking about buying more because you see a six percent drop in the price um, you know, just hold off a little bit. And I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, patience, you get rewarded when you uh, show patience. So that's the update, everyone. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Anything else in the comments that you guys want to address, I'm looking forward to. The overall stock market, I was looking at my retirement portfolio. It's doing well, super well. Berkshire Hathaway is my, is my horse. I'm always buying Berkshire Hathaway. Well, I'm not always buying it, but when I bought it, I bought it in heavy. I think I have, um, I think like 30 shares in one account and then 15 in another account. So I love Berkshire Hathaway B. I think that it's better than the S&P 500. But if you want to play it safe and buy S&P 500 as well, that is definitely a good one. I checked my nephew's um, uh, custodial account. He's doing well. He's up in the you know 10% range, 12% range. Um, and then my kid's account is doing exceptionally well as well, 17, I think, percent uh, return year to date um, i'm going to be looking to add more charles swab in that um in that account as i think um this is kind of interesting i saw it on um i believe it was wall street trappers um youtube channel it's an old old video where he talks about buying the stock of the bank that you hold your shares in because at one point sooner or later you might want to pull out a loan and they're gonna look at your assets and they're gonna see that the, that you own their stock so um one of the custodial accounts is with Ally, Ally Invest, and I started to buy uh, my nephew some Ally Invest shares. That way they generate a dividend, and then they'll, uh, you know, at some point sooner or later in his life, he's going to go for a car loan or a home loan, and he's going to have a significant amount of stock. And I'm hoping that that's going to benefit him for, um, you know, a loan, a home loan, a car loan, whatever. So that's something to think about. Uh, JP Morgan, I have Chase, and they're like 200 some odd dollars a share, and I can't fractionally share into them um here in this account uh the charles swab account i can get charles swab uh it's way cheaper it's like 70 80 dollars a share and then you can actually put in dollars uh you can invest in dollars instead of uh shares so fractional shares you can buy and invest in so that's a really neat trick so my kids got uh charles swab shares starting that charles swab share i don't even think he has a share yet but um, I'm going to start to put money in that. And then my nephew has Ally uh, Bank shares. So, 
along with S&P 500. So that's something that I just kind of wanted to share. I don't think a lot of us have that. So I kind of, I saw it on his thing. I can't take credit for it. And I said, you know what? That's, that's pretty neat. It's a good idea. So if you're banking and you're building, um, you know, if you want to build your assets, you want to build equity. And then at some point you're going to go to the same bank that you bank with and say, Hey man, I need a loan. They're going to look at your overall assets. They're going to look at your retirement portfolios. Hey man, he's got our, you know, bank shares. He's got our, uh, bank stock in there. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good collateral. So just wanted to put that out there and share. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I will double check this at the end of the month, at the end of the month, at the end of the week, uh, probably Saturday or Sunday, do a follow-up video. If not Monday, um, thanks for sharing. Thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for your time. Happy blessings. Happy stacking.